Hey guys, how's it going? It's Melanie. If you're new, then welcome to the channel. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday, so if you like this one, be sure to subscribe so you can see more videos like it. Now, for today's video, I decided that I was going to tell you guys what I have been watching recently on Netflix, specifically TV shows. So that is what we're going to be doing today, and I am just going to go ahead and get right into it and tell you guys the TV shows that I have been watching lately on Netflix, what I have been watching, all of that fun stuff, and luckily for me, just because it seems a little bit nicer and neater this way, there are only five TV shows for me to tell you guys about. So the first TV show that I am going to be telling you guys about is Friends. That has been on Netflix for quite a while and this is actually my second time watching through the show. I am a very big fan of re-watching shows multiple times. So I am going through this one for the second time and it is actually just as funny and like fun to watch in general as it was the first time that I watched it and I'm actually noticing some things that I didn't notice before when I watched it the first time and that is why I absolutely love to watch shows multiple times because you always pick up on things that you might not have picked up on the first time and even like watching something for the fifth time in a row is like, wow, I still can find things that I never noticed. But if you don't know anything about Friends, it is basically six people that are friends. Um, one of them kind of becomes friends with them over time. And it's kind of just um, a TV show about their lives and stuff such as that. and what they do together and their struggles and fun times and all of that kind of stuff. So if you're into that kind of thing, now that I really described it very well, definitely check it out. Um, talks all about apartment life and troubles with friendships and there's probably things that could help you out in that even though it is just kind of a funny TV show, there are serious moments in it, so I definitely recommend checking that one out. And I am actually on season 6 of that one, so I am getting close to being done with it for the second time in a row. The second show I have to tell you guys about is Frasier, and I am almost done with season 1, so I started it not too terribly long ago but I am progressing through it. Um, I really do suck at describing things, so I don't know why I keep doing things like this, but if you don't know anything about Frasier, it is about a man who moved to Seattle after divorcing his wife, and he's um, a psychologist, psychiatrist type person. He has a radio talk show that he helps people with on and helps them solve problems and stuff like mental issues kind of and like daily life problems not like crime solving or anything like that and um his dad moves in with him because he is getting too old to take care of himself and he has a brother that visits a lot too and he gets his dad um, like a personal care help person that also moves in with them. So it is a very funny show. It also has very serious moments, like extremely serious moments, but I think it really balances out for both of those and it is not a bad show at all. I actually really enjoy it, although I'm kind of surprised that I'm into that kind of show, but I definitely think that if you were interested in the, in the description that I gave you, that you should check that one out as well. The third show that I have to tell you guys about shouldn't be much of a surprise because of how popular it is right now, but it is Stranger Things. 
The thing that might surprise people because anyone that has found out about it has been shocked and like wowed and like what is wrong with you but we are actually only like a couple episodes into it we just started it a couple days ago and it is a very good show so far um unfortunately i can't really give you guys a description of this because i don't really know much about it even though it's on its second season now I do know that it's like a group of kids and one of them goes missing and this random kid just came out of some science building and has some sort of powers of some sort. That is really all I know about that one, but um, it has proven to be really really good so far. There's a lot of hype behind it and I haven't been let down from the hype that was building it up. So that one is probably worth checking out as well because of how much people are talking about it. The fourth show that I have to tell you guys about is The Office. It has been on, again, like friends, for quite a while on Netflix, I believe. And I actually started this one quite a while ago, indeed. Like, definitely a while ago. I can't even remember when I started watching it but I took a very, very, very long break from it and have just recently gotten back into it. So I am almost done with season two, but it is one of the ones that I'm watching more slowly, so I don't know how far I will actually progress with this or rather how fast I will progress with watching it. But it is so, so good. It has Steve Carell in it and he is one of my favorite actors. He is absolutely hilarious and all of the other actors in it are so funny and there's just so many random things that happen in the show that are funny and again like most shows there's funny moments and kind of serious moments but um, overall this is a very hilarious show and it is very quirky and I just think that it is absolutely something that needs to be watched at least a little bit by everyone, so definitely go check that one out as well. And then the last show on Netflix that I have that I am watching that I would like to tell you guys about is The Seven Deadly Sins. This one is actually an anime. It is, as you know by now because I'm on the last one, the only anime that I am watching on Netflix right now actually the only anime I'm watching in general right now because I have been really behind on watching all kinds of things. But I started this one last night and I am halfway through the first season and there are only two and it is so so good so far. It's about these like seven heroes and they're called the seven deadly sins and this princess is trying to find them all and get their help in defeating some bad hero type people like corrupt heroes or whatever and it is really really good i think this is actually a netflix original show if i remember correctly and for being an anime that was made by netflix it is actually really good i expected worse i don't really know why just kind of a thing that a lot of people kind of think with that, I believe. But it is actually such a good show and I am absolutely immersed in it if you can't tell by the fact that I am moving through it so quickly. Um, there's like 24 episodes in a season so I'm on like episode 12. I have been watching it all day today and kind of postponed making this video so I could watch it and I am sure that I'm going to go right back to watching it after I finish recording this video. So if that doesn't tell you how um, absolutely amazing this show is to me, then I don't really know what would, but if you're into animated shows and that kind of thing, then I definitely think that this is one that you need to check out. And that is all I have for you guys today. Those are my five Netflix TV shows that I have been watching. 
I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. Comment with any future suggestions for videos you have, any Netflix movie or TV show recommendations you have, what you've been watching, anything like that. I love reading the comments whenever I get them. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!